Chapter 20 Alex walked into his dorm room and closed the door behind him. Where did you go? Taje sat on his bed. He had his data hub on his knees. I told you I wanted to clear my head. Alex plopped on the bed. He took a deep breath. Sometimes talking to Taje felt like getting lectured. You spoke to Danielle? Why would I? You told me not to. It's something you'd do. I don't have to answer your questions. Alex rolled over to his side. So you did. Tajay heaved a sigh. I couldn't let her think she got away with it. Alex slammed his fist on his pillow. Besides, this is my fault. I'm the one who insisted she be on the team. Silence invaded the room. Alex stifled a groan. Look, I'm sorry I went behind your back. I hate to see someone got away with taking advantage of you. He rolled over to face Tajay. You let everyone get away with everything. She's ignorant. Tajay tapped his data hook. Revenge solves nothing. Revenge, no. Justice, yes. You're not interested in justice. Tajay smirked at him over his shoulder. Alex forced himself not to roll his eyes. Typical Tajay. Someone acted against him and he rolled it off. For once, Alex wished he would get angry, hold a grudge, something except let himself get walked all over. What are you working on? Alex got to his feet. It's not like you to have a face on a screen all day. Research. Tajay tapped his forehead. What kind of research? Alex tilted Tajay's data hub so he could see it. A list of names? Stannon is not here. Tajay turned the data hub so Alex could see it better. He saw the title of the list. High-ranking Narsen families. You've compiled a list of all the noble families in the Narsen system? Alex forwarded his brows. Why? Danielle's one. Tajay fingered his chin. From the way she acts, it's clear. Alex sat at the foot of Tajay's bed. She's made no secret her father is some rich guy. But Stannon isn't here. You think she's using a fake name? Alex smirked. Looks like Danielle's got some secrets of her own. Gonna expose her as a fraud? I can find you someone to help with this. We can uncover what the little fake is up to. Tajay shook his head. Revenge solves nothing. Then why look it up at all? It's not like you to pry into other people's business. Tajay squeezed his eyes shut. I know her face. He pressed his palm against his head. You know her face? Alex stared into Tajay's eyes. You've seen her before? Where? I don't know. But I need to remember. It's important. Tajay scrunched up his face in concentration. Alex lowered his eyes. Poor Taj suffered from a terrible memory. He could almost feel the frustration radiating off his friend. Don't worry about it now, Taj. You know how it goes when you're trying to remember something. If you think about something else, it will come to you. Tajay heaved a sigh. He nodded. There you go. Alex patted his arm. Let's get this team moving. We don't have to like her as long as she does her job. You'll let it go? Sure, big guy, Alex said. I'll lay off Danielle. Good, Tajay nodded. He paused for a few moments before turning to him again. Alex, why do I call you Sally? It's a nickname, Alex shrugged. You've always called me that for as long as I can remember. Where did it come from? You're asking me? Alex shrugged. I used to ask you the same thing when we first got to Mama Marlin's house. Tajay rested his cheek in his hands. You're pensive today, Taj. I better be careful when I leave you in charge from now on. Alex hefted himself out of bed. I'm going to shower and hit the hay early tonight. We have a long day tomorrow. He grinned. Those girls are going to hate me so much. Danielle already does. Pensive and full of remarks. Alex pulled his clothes out of the drawer. Not sure if I like this new talkative Tajay. Tajay stuck his tongue out at him. Alex kicked Tajay's shin as he walked past. Big mistake. His toe slammed into a concrete-like pillar and pain exploded in his foot. Alex bit back his yelp and put a grin on as Tajay gave a grunt and rubbed his shin. That's what you get. Alex walked out the door. Mother flip! He shouted once the door had shut. That hurts! He hopped on one foot and held his bruised toe in the other. Other agents stopped to stare at him. What the crap, man? Since when did Tajay get so hard? Alex? Tajay opened the door. Alex stood straight, hiding the pain threatening to bring tears to his eyes. What? 
Tajay looked up and down the hallway. You screamed. We are hearing things. Alex waved him off. Tajay nodded. After one last look down the hall, he retreated into the dorm room. Alex hissed in a breath between clenched teeth and limped down the hall to the showers. He'd learned his lesson. He'd never do anything so stupid again, at least not without reinforced shoes.